Chase Sexton, Hangtown. Let's start from the beginning. I was just talking to Tom and we were breaking down your ride. He said that when you crashed in the second turn, he thought to himself, what an idiot. Yeah. And I'm guessing you were thinking that's the same? Said, that's what I felt too. Yeah. How was the frustration level at that point? Pretty frustrated, but I was able to kind of like calm myself back down and like really focus on just getting as many guys as I could. Didn't think I was going to get to a win, but uh, yeah. I, uh, Passed a lot of guys and I had some good lines, so I was able to kind of just motor away and really didn't get held up too much, which was kind of the biggest thing for me. If I could get, I told myself if I can get past these guys without losing a whole bunch of time, then I should be good. What at what point did you like realize it was possible? Well, my first goal when I saw 100 like not that far away, I'm like, dude, I can probably win the overall. That was the biggest goal. And then when I passed those guys and Aaron wasn't that far up, I'm like, I mean, I might be able to get him. And I was able to charge like the last lap and yeah, made it happen. So was it the anger and the aggression that kind of unlocked the real chase? Yeah, yeah, and just being comfortable. I mean, we did a lot of testing this week and was able to kind of find some good stuff on the bike. And my bike feels really similar to my 22 bike and well, my Honda in 2022. So, I mean, yeah, we're ready to kind of battle and uh, try and uh, do this again. Hopefully not have to do that again. It was really hard, but uh, get, it, get better starts and try and uh, battle for these overalls. I feel like you're definitely better when the track's at its roughest, like early laps when it's a bit of a freeway. Yeah. I feel like that's when you're at your worst. So how do we fix that? Mm. I mean, the races are won in the late stages, so I don't know. I, I think like first moto, I wasn't really like stressing. Like I, I, I needed to stay close enough where I could make a charge, but I knew at the end of the race is when I kind of find my flow and I didn't want to do anything stupid and put myself on the ground early in the race. So yeah, I don't know. I was able to kind of make my way by. Jason gave me a gift by going, he fell over. And then from there, I kind of just clicked off laps in the first moto. And then second moto, I didn't really have a chance to like work into it. I just had to go. There's no way on the last lap you felt like you were going to get AP, right? Like it was still quite a gap. Yeah, I just knew if I could get close enough, like uh, before the triple, the big triple, that on this side of the track, I was really good. And it obviously worked out because it's right before the finish line. So um, I knew if I could get close enough that I can make a pass over here. And that was kind of my goal. I feel like you needed this, like this feels like a fresh start in my eyes at least. Yeah. Like this feels like it's kind of reset the clock. All of the frustration, the struggles, kind of been a race the now. The ship's been through some, some rough water. And now it's faster than ever somehow? Yeah, I think we're, I think we've kind of, we've kind of opened up the, we've kind of gotten some smooth, smooth cruising water. So we should be hopefully good, but every week's different, so. Was that your best ride ever? It's one of them, I would have to say. It's, I mean, it's crazy to say the best ride ever, but. Probably the most dramatic ride I've ever seen, uh, out of me, at least. Uh, I've had some amateur rides kind of like that. I would say like 20, I think it was 2015 California Classic. I kind of did the same thing, but it's amateur. It's not the 450. Yeah, I'm not sure it's quite the same. It's not quite the same. I didn't come from last, so I don't know. It's, I haven't really fully like um, taken it all in yet, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, last one, you can still be better, right? Like. There's still room to grow with a bike yourself. There's, this isn't peak. No, I want to keep building and I, I'm still learning the bike more and more every day. And today I was obviously comfortable, but I think I can go faster. And yeah, I, I felt really good, honestly, like on everything that was flat. Like I didn't feel the greatest on the downhills, which is kind of crazy because this, this track is a lot of downhill. So uh, I'm looking forward to kind of getting back like high point and those kind of tracks. I think my bike's going to work really well and also um, going back to the softer soil, I think we're going to be good.